War, Mock Wars. Guys, this is... I want your thoughts. I want your opinions. If you can think of how we can improve on this idea before I submit it to New World, that would be absolutely incredible, right? Mock Wars. We've all asked for them, and I'm trying to think of a way that we can incorporate our ask without asking too much from New World. So, War already exists. The format already exists. The ability to roster and slot people already exists, right? So, going from there. We got that in our minds. So now let's turn it into a mock war. How are we going to make mock wars a possibility? We are going to make it to where a company of X amount of people, 25, 30 people or more can declare on another company. They will not be fighting for territory. They will just be fighting for a mock war, a, a winner's cash and a loser's war cash. I mean, that's that's what they're going to get out of it is the same exact things that a war would get minus the territory. Um, you would get everything that you, that every experience possible in the mock war that you would get in an actual war. Um, and yeah. Oh, yeah, you can definitely fight for pride. Not only would this open up more achievements, because then it would be win 200 uh, mock wars or whatever. Um, it would, I mean, it would give more achievements. It would give the ability to practice wars for companies that have never had the chance to. It would let shot callers learn how to shot call wars. Um, it would help individuals learn positioning. It would let individuals cap points. It, you would still be able to buy haste elixirs, all of that stuff. Um, whoever is attacker defense, it would be, uh, randomized and it could be a randomized map. So you don't know if you're going to be on Brimstone or Windsward or whatever, or we can take it one step further, but we're going to pause on that thought really quick. And I want y'all's thoughts on it right now. You could either do a randomized war where there would be, you guys would still have to pay. So if they want to sink economy, then you could still pay to do a mock war. So a company could pay 5,000 to declare on another company or something. So there would still be the sink ability in, in this whole mock, like you're renting out the fort or something. Um, but you would still have the ability to pull gold in if they so choose to. Um, but it would definitely open up smaller companies to experiencing wars without having to reinvent the damn wheel. They already have wars. They are they they already exist. So why not let individuals practice on them? And it would open up the ability to get war caches. Those transmogs that you can only get in war caches would be available to everybody that wants to declare or wants to practice war or whatever. Um, but I think that would be a really solid solution because they wouldn't have to reinvent the will on any aspect. They would just have to put ramifications on who can declare and who can't. Because I'm afraid that there's going to be so many instances that it would it would be very detrimental to the game. So they would need to definitely put some ramifications around it. Like you have to have 25, um, 25 people or you can't declare. Um, and, and you can slot whoever you want. So if you have friends that are green, yellow, and purple, and they want to run together in the war, then you can absolutely slot them because we're not going for territory. We're basically going for pride or a, a cash or whatever. Um, but yeah. But, 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 but you have to keep it locked down to um, the governor or the, the, the company that... I was supposed to be a rapier. The company that owns the territory or the company that owns the declare, they are the ones that can mess with the roster. Not anybody can sign up. That type of thing. It sounds like supple selling mercs to everyone. I mean, if that's if 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 you want to to pay for mercs to come help you win this mock war, by all means, that's not gonna help anybody learn. Um no honestly, I don't think so. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. If you want to buy, if you want to pay from people to, to jump in there, then go ahead. Make it so you uh, fight over one of the gray spots like Shattered and get a faction buff and it lasts a few hours till the next war. And that way anyone that wants to can sign up and get war XP. So that now, now you're getting into re creating something because there's not a there's not a war in that location so they would have to put in a lot more work 
to getting it set up. My my thought process is trying to keep as little work on New World as possible um, so that we have the highest chance of getting it to happen. And if we can make it as simple as possible, then I think, and if we, if we, you know, present it, present it properly, I feel like we could get this implemented because they're not going to have to recreate any territories. They're not going to have to, they're not going to have to do anything special. They're just going to have to make it to where companies with X amount of players can declare on another company. So you can think that you can absolutely think that, but until somebody tries, we're not going to get anywhere. And I, I refuse to be a naysayer in this situation. What's in it for the experienced warloggers? Absolutely nothing. There's nothing in it for experienced warloggers, except, except the ability to teach, teach newbies how to war. Um, if you enjoy warring, you can show up in war. Um, it, it would still be it, like, I'm an experienced warlogger. I love warlogging. I love doing any type of war. Throw me in a war and I love it. Right. I would eat this mode up. The reason why I love helping people. I love teaching people how to play the game. I, I, I want people to learn and grow. I want other individuals to, um, experience war that have never had the chance to experience war before. And if I can help them by teaching them point presence or whatever it may be, then that's a huge win on my part. And it's not like I ever walk away with the territory anyway. So I'm really basically just there for the experience as is. Um, so if you're too good to um, show up for the mock wars, then by all means, don't show up. Period, you know? And hello, Fire, how are you? You're not wrong. There's just little tweaks to developers that as uh, it can make to pump the numbers up. Absolutely. The learning curve isn't extreme. People just don't want to invest their time. That's what's stopping people. So if you hear in uh, regarding war communities, if you hear the number one complaint, it is it is gate kept content. If it's gate kept content, let's make it accessible to everybody to learn and grow from because the only the only comparable mode is OPR. And let me tell you, there is nothing war about OPR nothing whatsoever about OPR. When you play OPR forever and ever and ever, and you're a badass, you're number one on the scoreboard all the time, you think you're ready to go into a war because you are the best, you get your ass in a war and it is a completely different beast. It is nothing like OPR. There's nothing similar whatsoever aside from you gotta stay alive. Everything else, completely different. So this would give individuals the chance to have a a mock war they would be able to get experience in how wars are set up and how wars are are progressed in uh in fort battles and i mean there's lots of companies that are absolutely phenomenal at point but as soon as you get inside the fort absolutely wait the discord is popping off wars are sweaty oh 100 percent they are 100 percent they are but this would teach people how to have point presence and all that good stuff that's exactly how my company came to be I created it because I had friends who couldn't uh, get rostered for, for these higher tiered wars. Exactly. 